This exotic alligator snapping turtle has called the Savannah River Ecology Lab its home for more than 20 years. Most school children in the Aiken Augusta area have seen this animal at one time or another. But the lab was notified in April that its funding would end just one week from now on May 31st. So after 56 years of the lab's existence, scientists are scrambling to find either money or new homes for all the animals kept here. And there are thousands. They range from Stumpy, a 12-foot, 650-pound, 3-footed alligator, to this hissing but harmless pine snake. And this is a snake that management of the Savannah River site by DOE is critical to its persistence. Like many of the animals here, it is found that SRS, with its 300 square miles of land, is one of the few places on earth where they can thrive. Some, like the indigo snake, are threatened. Others, like this Asian turtle, are endangered. Here, they provide vital scientific research for the government and educational opportunities for school children. Plus, what could you do with thousands of turtles, salamanders, and snakes if there's no money to keep them? Basically, there's no way we would euthanize any of these endangered species, but finding homes for them can be expensive and time-consuming. Other organizations are going to have to step up with funds to take them. Negotiations are in the works for a zoo or someplace to adopt Stumpy the alligator. A few animals, like this chicken turtle, could be released on the site, but some may have to be destroyed if the lab closes. However, community support for saving the lab is growing, with students and others writing letters endorsing the lab's educational and scientific value. At SRS, I'm Tom Grant with the Metro Spirit.